Hello, today I'm going to be talking about The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which came out this year. This is by Suzanne Collins. It is a prequel to the Hunger Games trilogy, and it is about Coriolanus Snow, who we know as President Snow in the 74th and 75th Hunger Games. Um, this is back in the 10th Hunger Games, um, when Coriolanus is a, I guess, a senior um, at school. The Snows are a very kind of aristocratic, uh, family of the capital, but they lost all of their money in the war because they had it invested in District 13. So they, um, they're still very like high class, but have no money. So they just have to kind of like get by and pretend that they have money when they, when they sometimes even have like enough money for food. Coriolanus lives with his older cousin and his grandmother, and everything's kind of riding on him being successful. He needs to get a scholarship into the university because otherwise he won't be able to go to the university so that he can get a good job and provide for his family, whatever. For the first time ever, tributes in the Hunger Games will have mentors and they are going to be taken from the upperclassmen of the school. So Coriolanus is chosen as a mentor, but because of, I don't know, like, dynamics in the capital he's given the girl from district 12 which is like a bit of a slap in the face um and he kind of needs her to do well in the hunger games for him to get this scholarship blah 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 everything's riding on everything but in the reaping um a really weird thing happens where like the the girl from district 12 um like gets up on stage and starts like singing and doing a big performance and it's all quite strange but he's like oh maybe i could work with this maybe we could we you know survive the Hunger Games. Um, so her name is Lucy Grey Baird and yeah things kind of go on from there. As like a massive Hunger Games fan back in the day, um, really loved the insight into the world um, of the capital you know 64 years before um, before we meet it in the Hunger Games but basically the more I thought about this book after I finished it, I listened to it as an audiobook, um, the more issues I had with it and the less, it, it was kind of like enjoyable as it was happening, but I do have a lot of criticism for it. The first thing I've got to mention is like the egregious amount of <laughs> name drops um, from the Hunger Games trilogy. So uh, Coriolanus's cousin is Tigris, 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 um, who is the woman that gives, uh, gives Katniss and co shelter in, um, in Mockingjay. Uh, so she used to do, between these, between these two timelines, um, she was a stylist in The Hunger Games. Turns out she's Coriolanus's older cousin, which according to this timeline, when we get to The Hunger Games, President Snow is 84 years old, which means that uh, Tigris has to be like 94? Like I think there, there's about a 10 year age difference, at least a few years of age difference. And I mean, that's not believable, um, but sure. There's also uh, like, I remember there being a party at the Crane's house that was mentioned. Um, Heavensby Hall is like the big hall in the, in the school. Heavensby, like Plutarch. Um, and also really elbowed in there, um, towards the end, they just start mentioning like Katniss because it's some kind of plant or potato. I don't, I don't know. Really, really strong on that in. So I guess my main issues are this is just like such a YA teen boy with a hero complex. Somehow every original idea is actually from him. Um, like he's the person that introduces uh, betting in the games and the idea that you can. Um, you can send tributes food. Like no matter what he does, trouble he gets himself into, he's just like miraculously comes out completely unscathed. And there's also this just that he gets really possessive. There's this whole like love triangle shit that was completely unnecessary. And all in all, I just don't buy it. This is supposed to be a, how did the, how did this sweet boy turn into like the monster that President Snow was where he was really ruthless and used to like murder people with poison and stuff. Um, and the, I think the, you're supposed to see him become more corrupt, um, throughout, uh, uh, this book, um, so that you can kind of like understand what he goes on to. But I think he was far too sympathetic at the start. And to be honest, I don't think he ever really got 
very cruel. Throughout the book he's sort of groomed by the head games maker. He has to write essays on like power and, and the purpose of war and that kind of thing, um, which is supposed to like turn some cogs in, into his, in his head. So he eventually comes out with, if the war is going to last forever, we may as well be on top the whole time, um, was basically the sentiment he left with. And uh, there's also spoilers from here on out. Here on out, we're just going to spoil it. Please leave the video if you care. Goodbye. He goes from like, I want to run away with this girl. We're so madly in love. I can live uh, in the in the forest, like outside of the, the context of all of my like family and friends to five seconds later being like, oh, there's a chance for me to get, get my life back and get my life back on track and, and go back to the capital and, you know, be important. Uh, I just have to like murder this person who like five seconds ago, I said like, I loved enough to run away with. What the fuck? It was such a huge shift for me and I don't buy it. I feel like it would be more realistic if you ended up in the book not actually being that much of a bad guy and then you just had to accept that you had to see the seeds of his corruption um, over the next seven, 65 years. Um, but, but I think they were just trying to switch it. I keep saying they as if it's not just like an individual writing this because clearly the publisher was like, how do you, how do you write another another book, another one of those books. Um, but yeah, as um, is common with uh, highly anticipated sequels and prequels, um, I don't think there's a lot of editing process, which meant this book was just very, it's very strange in pace. Um, I know a lot of people found it quite boring um, because it should have just been a lot shorter because I was listening to it as an audiobook that wasn't as much of an issue, but it was just really weird that it kind of had this whole climax about two thirds of the way through and then suddenly there's more story but it's like a completely different story with completely different characters and it's like why am I supposed to care about it? It did like have some nice connections and reasons for doing things but that is kind of like the minimum I would expect for this sort of book. So that's where I'm at. I didn't like the characters. I don't like Lucy Gray at all. I don't understand her. Where does she come from? Like I mean I know where she came from. She was like some sort of like traveling musical troupe um which just didn't work for me in the context of like districts but also she just like does some performing when she gets sent to the hunger games like there's none there's none of the like raw emotion of like katniss's reaping and there's no sadness in the districts for this loss of life there, there really wasn't a lot of even even like the kids so they were treated basically as cattle um, in, in that time. They, they weren't fed. It wasn't something that the public watched because it wasn't something the public had to watch. Um, but still there just wasn't a lot of emotion there. It was all about this like boy who, you know, life is gonna end if he doesn't get into university. I really wanted to love it and I can make myself like it, but it just had so many tropes of, of YA and that's fine, but I wanted it to like blow me away and it just it just didn't so that's a video on a ballad of songbirds and snakes by suzanne collins um let me know your thoughts about it if you read it down in the comments below i look forward to reading them and responding um i will see you with another book review soon